Okay, so going over the train tracks here with the 27 Turbo Silverado. Yeah, it doesn't go over the train tracks as well as the Zero Two, that's for sure. But let's get on it a little bit. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the all new Chevy Silverado 1500 Custom. Before we get into this video, though, as always, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask to work with Nick and Gage. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 21 on the highway with power plates being 310 horsepower and then 430 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go to the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now starting with the hood, you guys can see we've got these cool blacked out decals there in the center and I don't know, I think it just makes the truck look sportier. Popping down below, we do have halogen headlights. You guys can see the grill is all blacked out with the blacked out Chevy bow tie that's kind of like off center, which is always interesting. Tow hooks there at the bottom and then body painted bumper. And you know what, for a baseline package on a truck, it looks cool. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel itself being all blacked out, kind of goes with the theme of this particular truck. Got the blacked out Silverado badge here on the side. Notice the mirror cap and the door handles also blacked out. And then you got that 4x4 decal there at the very back. And then taking a look at the full side profile, sorry about the lighting first off, but the truck looks pretty cool again with all the blacked out elements mixed in with the white paint. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, our remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. So we'll press that a couple times and it'll pop right down. Now popping into the bed, we have a payload capacity of 1,785 pounds. And then notice we've got protection here on the tailgate. You guys can see LED lights here in the bed and we've got bed liner as well. And then we have a full power outlet as well. So lots of features. Lifting up the tailgate, it's actually super light. And that brings us to these stripes here on the rear, which also look really cool. And then notice the rest of the badges all blacked out. Got the baseline taillights. We do have the bumper steps as well as a body painted bumper. And then with the receiver hitch, if you guys are wondering, towing capacity is 9,000 pounds. And then putting it all together, I do think that this is a really cool looking pickup truck. Now you gotta remember this is the custom package, so pretty baseline with the materials on the door panel itself, but decent storage. Now we've got these cloth seats, but what's cool is we actually get the behind the seat storage with this particular truck, and you guys can see down below, and then got the under seat storage. Legroom here in the back is solid. We got this little storage pocket here in the back of the seat, some vents down below too. And then headroom's also solid. And yes, we do have a cup holder armrest. Now with the door panel, you guys can see again, pretty basic with the material use. We've got all of our window controls. Notice the front one is automatic for the driver. And then we've got our mirror adjustments. And then there's a quick look at the mirror. It's got that little convex mirror to help out with your blind spot. And then here's the seat. You can see just like the back cloth, but power adjustable for the driver. We've got our parking brake right here. And then you guys can see up above, we've got our light control with the cargo light and then our drive line select. Um, so with the drive line, you got auto, uh, two wheel high, four wheel high, and then you have like a hill ascent uh, assist basically because it doesn't have four wheel low. And then you got your trailer tow mode. So here is the steering wheel again, pretty base from a material standpoint. Not a lot of controls either. You basically just have your cruise control and that's about it. Turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then we do have a good old fashioned column shifter with the plus and minus. You can shift the gears yourself with that eight speed automatic. Mostly analog gauge cluster. We do have a screen there in the center, which shows you basic bits of information. Um, so for example, you guys can see like how many miles are on the truck. And then it's also in two wheel drive. Oh, and something else that I forgot to mention, you got this little dial right next to it that you can twist and that lets you scroll through some of the different uh, menus. Now we do have a backup camera here with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and then you also have the tow mode as well, which is pretty cool. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment screen, um, response time is actually really solid uh, with this. It does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and then you do have some analog buttons down below, which kind of help out with using it. 
single zone climate system here in the custom and then down below we got our lane departure that's for your auto stop start tailgate drop down hazard lights stability control giant blank switch trailer brake controls already integrated from the factory and then a bunch of little charging ports with full outlet now this does have a bench seat configuration as you can see with uh, decent seat stuff happening and oh my gosh horrible we'll try that again there you go <laughs> it's underneath and then we do have a double glove box situation here as you can see and again pretty base with the material use in the dash and then here with the mirror we do have a manual mirror dimmer and then the rear glass is fixed now there's a ton of glare so it's gonna be really hard to see the window sticker but anyways 2023 custom um after all options on this particular one fifty one thousand and twenty five dollars is the total msrp and let's see how it drives Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Setting off here in the Silverado Custom with the 2.7 Turbo. And you know what? I think that this particular uh, truck might be one of the ones to go for. Um, now, obviously, you know, if you don't like the 2.7 Turbo, nobody's forcing you to get it, but it seems like that's what's uh, being ordered all the time uh, right now. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to go for one of the V8s, then, you know, supposedly you could. Supposedly, right? Um, but this truck drives really well. Uh, first off, tons of torque out of this uh, powertrain. Like, it, it gets up and moves at a really solid pace. And it's smooth. It's comfortable. Like, it's it's just a... It drives really uh, well. That's one of the things I do like about the new Silverado. And, you know, what's funny is I just drove the ZR2 before this. And on the same road, the ZR2 is actually a little bit bumpier, which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess that that Multimatic suspension can be just a little bit busier than the standard suspension. But when you go over bumps, this doesn't handle them as well as the ZR2, obviously. Okay, so going over the train tracks here with the 2.7 Turbo Silverado. Yeah, it doesn't go over the train tracks as well as the ZR2, that's for sure. But let's get on it a little bit. You know the 2.7 Turbo, it moves pretty well. It moves pretty dang well. Um, I know a lot of people give this engine crap, but it's it's got good power for what it is, and especially here at elevation, it it does a solid job. And the eight-speed automatic's pretty uh, good at keeping it in the power band as well. And so yeah, just um, solid overall. So setting things up here with this truck, um, I think it looks really cool. I like this package. Now obviously this doesn't have some of the cool upgrades that you can get with you know like an LT and above, but you know it. It's, it has a lot of stuff that you need, right? It's kind of like a basic work truck. And I know a lot of people want kind of more of like a basic work truck, but then still looks cool on the outside. So that, you know, like, it's like you don't need all the luxury features, but you still want people to think you bought something cool, right? That's kind of what this package accomplishes. And so overall, I think pretty cool. I should probably turn my windshield wipers. Um, it's weird. It's raining in the middle. It's 42 degrees raining in the middle of December. That's uh, that's usually not what happens in Utah. I won't complain though. I'd rather have rain than snow, especially driving home. Um, so yeah, overall, I would say that, you know, if you're looking for, I don't know, just like I said, just a cool looking base model truck. That's what this package provides. Let me know what you guys think of it. That's going to sum things up there. A video on this Silverado custom. Again, a huge shout out. And thank you to the Larry Schmiller. Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this truck. Check out their in the description down below. Ask for Nick and Gage. I'll see you.